off your fingers. You want to hear that sizzle. This class is from Rotterburnt, uh, exploring science and society through foods. Um, it's a Pathways to Humanities, as well as a Pathways for Natural Science. We thought about this idea of using food to explain how society works, how it, how it created civilization, as well as all the science that's, that's involved in behind the making and cooking of food. So we're going at a lower temperature, still in the correct range for my art browning. Really good. Today's workshop is about the physics of uh, cooking, and we're using hamburger as, as the medium, showing that, you know, high temperature is not always best, okay? You can burn on the outside, and you can still be raw on the inside. I just like cooking, I like eating. I figured, hey, why not take a cooking class? It could be fun. It's just a cool class. It's completely different. I don't have to deal with numbers. I just cook food and learn the science behind it. Definitely part of this is the natural pectin that's coming out of the strawberry. Down the road, we're going to be making jam. We're adding all of this, right? Yeah. We are tag teaming this with the, the faculty of the food science department. So each of us takes two weeks and we cover it. They get to see a lot of different areas. They just see a lot of different teaching techniques. So it helps with the diversity. I've always been interested in cooking myself. We got to learn a lot about just like how the food works. It's really fun. I'm definitely learning a lot um, considering I'm also not a food science major. So it is very different from your typical business course for sure. What we're really trying to do is trying to get an experiential learning opportunity while they're actually learning the material. So it's not just a lecture, it's actually doing something with the lab. And that's the key for um, really embedding the learning and having them truly understand what's going on.